what's up thanks for checking out this video i am jb the five string theory and this is a vlog let's get into it So today I'm getting prepared to do something I haven't done in a really long time, and that is actually play with the band outside of the house, play with other people. Uh, it's been, wow, like two years since I've played with other people outside of the house. And so I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's, it's gonna be exciting. So tonight I'm actually going to be doing band rehearsal. This will be the first time I play with this band. It's a church band. And so I thought it would be cool to kind of go over the things that I would normally keep in my gig bag. First off, some sort of cable or lead if you're if you're British. Basically, I need to have a cable for my bass. And I often will bring one, a new one just in case because you know sometimes you get those weird shorts and I don't know what they have for sure but I want to make sure I at least have an extra one so an extra cable uh, my groove tool groove tech groove tool let's see if we can get that to focus there um, this is a, just like a little pocket tool it's got different ratchets and uh, different allen keys uh, you get a flat, uh, sorry, Phillips screwdriver, all those little cool things. It's in a nice small package. I like to keep that in the bag, in the gig bag, just in case I need to make any kind of random adjustments. Next, I often will either keep a multi-tool just in case. Um, I tend to like the Leatherman Wave, and that's really because of the pliers. Really, just in case I need to do some a quick string change or or if I need to make some adjustments or I need to do something a little bit more heavy duty than my other tool will allow me to do. I want to make sure I have something there extra. Speaking of string changes, depending on the bass, I will keep a pack of extra strings. Um, if I'm playing, if I'm rocking a five string bass, uh, you gotta have the, the set of five strings for it. Otherwise, I tend to keep some DRs, using some low riders. So I'll keep a set of strings, extra strings, just in case. It's some sort of tuner. Um, now this could be, this is a clip-on tuner. If I was doing a, a bigger gig, or if I was doing like a, one of my shows, I might use a tuning pedal. I wanna be in tune. It's just a thing. Most of the music is gonna come in chord charts. So I've actually, an iPad Air, this is the fourth gen because, I like this because, ooh, you can't even see that, can you? <laughs> There you go. We can see some of the chord charts. So, so basically, I can take this chord chart. Um, I can keep the the music all on the iPad. One thing I like to do along with it is I have this Beachy 200 Bluetooth pedal. I can have the iPad on a stand, and then I can just use this to advance through the music as opposed to turning pages. Um, I think this worked well for me um, in previous things. The cool thing about this particular model, this Duo BT200, is that it worked with Windows machines too. Um, a lot of times I found devices that only worked with uh, Apple products. This one worked with both. Now, one more thing that I also like to keep in my bag, or at least I'm taking with me today, is my task and field recorder. The reason I'm taking this is this is the first time I'm playing with this band. We're playing music that I'm not necessarily familiar with and every band I play with, even where we're playing your traditional Christian worship songs, every band plays it different. So I'm definitely gonna take this Tascam. Um, I've had this, this is the DR40X. Um, DR40X, I've had this for so long that I don't know how long it's been. Um, but it is very useful. I have no reason to upgrade. I like it because um, when I'm trying to be portable, um, you can do mic input so I can just do like, use this as a interface. Um, again, it's still got the micro for the USB, but I can, I can handle that. So I can use this as an interface, connect it to my laptop um, and on the go, I can use it as an interface. I can just use it as an audio recording, um, music on the go. Definitely, if you're into that kind of stuff, get this. This is this is this is awesome. Today, I think we are going to go with the four-string Fender, the four-string Fender player uh, P bass. 
with the Pafaro Pafaro uh, fingerboard. It's pretty lightweight, pretty simple, standard. I don't have to worry about carrying extra batteries if I was gonna do something else. I'm just gonna go simple today. Um, I've got my straps already placed, got my leads, and this is all gonna go in the gig bag. Gig bag. That's what's in my gig bag. Uh, I don't know that I'm missing anything, but if you could think of something that you should keep in your gig bag, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm not bringing any pedals tonight. I'm just gonna play straight through uh, their system. Um, so this is kind of the simplified, just grab and go setup. Yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.